At the beginning of the film, we are shown a note that says, August 5th, 2020, at 2.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Scientists at a research center that hasn't been named have made the world's first black hole. Then we see the scientists James and Anna associated with the black hole mission. James says that they have checked everything, but somehow all that happened. Anna says that they thought it was a glitch at first, but everything abruptly shut down, and there were several portals seen everywhere and people started disappearing. We see another note that states just hours later, a cosmic disruption triggers worldwide blackouts. Within 24 hours, the sudden appearance of mysterious black portals causes panic as people go missing and major cities start to evacuate. On the other hand, in Lancaster, California, just three days after the blackout, Adam Reed is driving with his wife Andrea and young daughter Kate. But a portal suddenly appears in front of their car as it crashes into a portal. And then the scene cuts to the call center. Just three hours after the blackout, at the call center in Washington, D.C., the growing panic over the portals has caused havoc for the 911 call center operators Kathy, Stan, Dory, Robert, and Larry. There are continuous calls from people with missing complaints and claiming that the black hole took their loved ones. While they are trying their best to calm people down through the call, suddenly the power goes out and the operators are trapped in the call room. A portal suddenly appears in their office, scaring everyone. They start panicking and try to get out, but the doors are locked. Stan, who is a mentally unstable conspiracy theorist, becomes mesmerized and delighted to see the portal. Stan then reveals that he and Kathy first received calls about the black doors years ago. Upon inquiring, they found out that the numbers were untraceable. But he became obsessed with the mystery and has been collecting information about the portals ever since. According to him, one can get whatever they want on the other side of the portal. With the portal telepathically communicating with him, Stan takes out a gun, points it at them, and demands that everyone enter the portal. Stan shoots Robert when he doesn't comply with Stan's demand. Larry is afraid that Stan will kill him too, so he reluctantly walks up to the portal and seems to die as it pulls him in. Stan then starts encouraging Dory to go next and tells her that she can reunite with her missing daughter if she enters the portal. Kathy secretly passes Dory a pair of scissors, which the portal alarms Stan about Dory's weapon. She immediately attacks Stan, but he shoots her dead. Stan then tries to enter the portal, but it does not let him pass. He breaks down when the door blames him for the chaos. An enraged Stan fires his gun at the door. The bullet ricochets and Stan is instantly finished. Kathy and the others are seen getting mesmerized by the portal. When the SWAT team finally arrives at the location, they find that everyone in the call center has vanished. Now we go back to Adam, who is waking up in a hospital and his one eye is bandaged. He is being treated by Dr. Leslie and Dr. Marconin. Dr. Leslie informs him that he is the only person, till now, who has come back alive from the portal. He asks about his family and she assures him they are fine. Dr. Marconin then arrives and after examining Adam's eyes, he claims that they were irreparably damaged in the accident and they needed to perform a procedure to remove Adam's left eye, replacing it with a prosthetic lens. While performing the procedure, they were petrified after seeing his blue eyes turn pitch black. The scene cuts to Indonesia. In Jakarta, Indonesia, just three minutes before the blackout, two sisters, Sarah and Jill, are seen walking in the parking garage of a shopping center. Jill informs her sister Sarah that she is pregnant, to which Sarah, who is still not recovered from the loss of her baby, starts arguing with her sister. After a sudden blackout, Sarah couldn't find her sister and started looking around. But when she finds her, Jill looks entranced, along with a crowd of other entranced shoppers who are all walking towards the portal. Sarah also follows them. Jill tells Sarah that the portal is calling them. Jill adds that the portal can give them everything they want. Sarah then hears a crying baby and sees Jill with the baby in her arms in the portal. This scares Sarah and she starts shouting at people trying to break them out of the trance. While Sarah is pulling Jill away from the portal, Jill falls and due to the injury, she is snapped out of her trance. The two women watch an entranced mother wheel a baby stroller into the portal. The mother tries to follow but bounces off the door. Entranced shoppers continue entering the portal. Sarah and Jill flee the scene but shoppers suddenly become violent and start attacking them. Sarah hides her sister and goes to retrieve her car, but a woman starts attacking her, and Sarah is forced to stop her in order to get back to her car. Sarah then rescues Jill, and the two sisters begin driving away. Jill becomes entranced again and forces the car towards the portal. After seeing the bright light coming from the portal, Sarah also gets lost in it and sees a vision of her baby before being ejected through the windshield. Sarah recovers to find the parking garage completely deserted. She runs around scared and confused when she suddenly sees her sister Jill who is holding a baby. 
Jill passes the child to Sarah and then vanishes. A confused Sarah looks around but ignores everything as she looks at the baby. The screen pans out to reveal that she is inside the portal. Then we again go back to Adam sitting in front of Dr. Leslie. She asks him about his eyes and how he is feeling. Adam tells her that he feels uncomfortable with the lens as it's new to him. In the next scene, Adam is in front of a mirror where he unwraps his bandages to find his new left eye resembles the portal. A strange voice tells Adam that the doctors are lying to him about his family's whereabouts. Adam forcefully asks Dr. Leslie the truth, but she tells him that they are fine and walks out without explaining anything. Later, Dr. McConan comes to check on Adam's eyes. As soon as he flashes a light on Adam's left eye, it starts shining like the portal. Adam pushes the doctor and demands to know what they have done to his eyes. The doctor cryptically tells Adam that his new eye gives him insight to the realities they cannot conceive of. He claims that Adam doesn't deserve that gift. Marconin then tries to cut out Adam's eye. A struggle ensues between the two and Marconin is shot by Dr. Leslie. Leslie tells Adam that his family is on the other side of the portal along with hers. She goes on to explain that Adam is the only person who ever returned from the other side which is why Marconin was using Adam to find out more about the dark doorways. She believes that Adam might be the key to bringing back their missing families, but Adam says that he can't remember anything. Leslie then escorts Adam to a portal in another wing of the hospital. She tells him that he needs to go to the other side to rescue his family. A high-frequency radiation then starts emitting from the doorway, which Leslie is not able to endure. Adam enters a portal with rage. He wanders through a series of visions where he enters a building with jail cells and sees himself deceased in one of them. He then hears the voice of his daughter, Kate, he runs towards the voice and opens a jail cell to find himself in a house where he sees Kate as an adult, but she doesn't recognize him. She gets scared and runs away. Finally, Adam enters a room where a huge mirror reflects a version of himself which persuades Adam to sit on the chair. The mirror Adam explains that this is the future where Adam is no more and his daughter is living her life happily without him. Adam demands to know who he is and the reflection tells him that they see the world through Adam's eyes while he lives on their side. Then it gives Adam a choice to replace his other eye with a portal and reunite with his family where everything is alright or else give back the new eye and die. Feeling helpless, Adam accepts and his other eye is exchanged. The reflection asks Adam to close his eyes and when he opens them, he finds himself in front of his house. He peeks through the portal door in front of his house to see his wife and daughter waiting for him. The reflection from the portal tells him to do as asked. But instead of going in, Adam rips out both of his eyes. Back in reality, after their accident, Adam is seen in the hospital where Dr. Leslie escorts Andrea and Kate to see him. Adam has recovered, but both of his eyes are now missing. The family reunites, and the scene cuts to the UK. On August 26, 2020, three months after the blackout in Liverpool, UK, physicist James Avery and his colleague Anna are conducting a teleportation experiment using the portals, where they have connected two portals to teleport from one place to another. Anna enters a portal in the park and teleports to the other end of the different portal where James is waiting for her. They are thrilled to see the success of the portal and decide to go back together. James enters the portal first, followed by Anna. However, James reaches the park, but Anna doesn't arrive. He gets scared, but still waits for her. After a while, Anna is also teleported, but there is a black liquid streaming down from her eyes. Anna then confronts James in a state of possession. Anna melts James's face while exclaiming that portals were just the beginning of the end that is coming. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.